So my name is uh, Ilian Decourt. I'm finishing my second year in the graduate program in the Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences Department at UCLA. In high school, I was interested in science. I love biology especially. I like the logic of it. I liked the discovery of it, that kind of thing. My niche is in the, the coral world and, and why are corals, how do corals make their skeletons and make these enormous reefs and what does that look like under future climate scenarios. When I transitioned from high school to college, um, I was well overwhelmed at first by just the intellectual capacity of all my new peers. Um, I felt like a little fish in a big pond um, and really felt stimulated by all my classes in a way that I hadn't before. Prior to uh, starting at McAllister, I was unaware essentially of my own uh, identity and the way that my identity um, shaped the way other people could view me or the way that um, my identity helped to create my status, essentially. I was allowed as an undergrad to come to UCLA and run some samples um, here at UCLA. And right off the bat, um, they were incredibly welcoming, Aradna and her husband Rob, who's my current advisor. And um, they let us stay in their Art Deco apartment downtown in LA, and it was a phenomenal experience, but also allowed me um, to to learn a lot about this other part of the geochemistry field that um, I had not previously been exposed to. And through that, um, I just continued to stay in touch and pursued further research opportunities with their group, and, um, and here I am, continuing. CDLS is a, a really important partner to my research because it is a community of other people like me that can't just sort of sit here and allow institutions like UCLA continue their practices of propping up the structural um, advantages and disadvantages, um, like unobstructed essentially. It's important to, um, to, to act as an ally and, and do work that, um, that provides opportunity for other people, provides opportunity for people who in, historically have not had those opportunities. One thing I think a lot about is the ways in which we can revolutionize our societal structure using climate change as the um, catalyst, essentially. There has been a lot of Western science that has done harm. It's been used as a tool to do harm to these communities. So it's important that when Using the scientific method, we're careful to include our own biases and include our understanding of the histories of how the scientific method has harmed people. Um, and try to find ways to incorporate maybe indigenous knowledge or just community knowledge that um, really should be a benefit to our own science as well. I'd love to be teaching around um, environmental rehabilitation um, whether that be in terrestrial environments, like agricultural environments, or in marine environments. For I hope that we broadly can see the opportunity that exists in our current climate crisis. Um, an opportunity for us to revolutionize our energy system, our, uh, an opportunity to revolutionize our economic system, and in doing so, provide equity um, and justice for, for, for all. So that's what I hope for.